Hi, it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I filmed one of these videos. Um, most of you guys will probably know why because I post about it on my Discord or I post about it on my YouTube community. But I'm still recovering from a head injury. But anyways, let's do some makeup. So today I am going to be reviewing the Korean makeup brand called Misha. Um, I have known about this brand for a pretty long time, mostly because of their cushion foundations and their skincare. I've used their um, mugwort um, essence, the spray and the liquid and the Time Revolution essence as well. So I know a lot about their skincare, but not as much about their makeup, but I was aware of it. So I've been looking for a cushion foundation for a really long time and they have some in the states that are offered that cover my skin tone but usually the ones that are offered here are like $60 and you know compared to the Korean cushion foundations that I've seen that's like a lot of money because I've seen like some cushion foundations that are like $15. I've been searching for a long time and finally I saw that Misha had an extended line because on a lot of the sites I shop on like Yes Style or Olive Young, they only show like maybe two or three shades. But when I went to the actual Misha website, I saw that they had a couple more shades. And their last shade, the um, number 27, was kind of similar to me. I didn't, I kind of thought it was gonna be a little bit too light, but then when I looked on Amazon, I saw that somebody um, of a darker complexion than me had reviewed it and said that it worked fine for them. So I've actually used this once before. Um, I used it in this makeup look. And I thought it turned out wonderfully. I did have to warm it up a little bit with bronzer, but I'm gonna show you today how it performs. And then I have two other products because I was ordering from the website. I'm not just gonna order one product. So I ordered more of the essences because I love those. And then I got uh, the Ultra Power Proof Thin Mascara. It has curling and fixing and curl lasting. I don't think I've ever tried a Korean um, mascara before, so I'm really excited to try this. And then I also have um, their Juicy Pang Water Tint in the shade CRO2. Yeah, so I'll be doing that. These are the three products I'll be reviewing and the rest of them are just, you know, regular products, but some of them are new, so I'll talk about them a little bit. So let's get started. If I can open this. I've saved the boxes for this reason, just so I could show you guys. So this is the cushion. It's it's pink, but you guys can't really tell because it's lighting my face, but this is overexposed. But it's like a normal cushion foundation. You open it up, you have a mirror. I haven't taken the film off yet. You get a cushion with it, and it's it's not like um, the cushions you use for powder. It's a little bit more slick, I would say. And then it has a little um, protection over the foundation. And then you open that up because this is where you store the puff. You open that up and then you have the foundation itself. Some cushion foundations come with a refill, but this one didn't. Um, I'm not, I don't remember what the price was, but I'll put it up on the screen now. That's how much this foundation was. So I don't have anything on my skin, no primer, just skincare right now. I actually don't even have sunscreen on, whoopsies. So I'm going to um, just set my, or get my makeup started with this Milani Make It Last uh, Natural Finish Spray. And I was actually kind of surprised the first time I used this that it's more full coverage than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be, you know, like a BB cream, but you know, it's a foundation. So I'm just tapping it in here. I'm not even pushing and I got some color on there. And I'm just gonna go very lightly because I don't want full coverage right now and I'm gonna need to um, blend it out. But I'm gonna do it on my acne scars here. I also have active acne, so let's see how that covers everything up. Look at that. I usually don't go up to my eyes or around my nose. So I'm just kind of like, I only press this into the foundation twice. So I'm just gonna spread that all over my face and kind of blend out the edges. Look at how far I can get this foundation to go. Okay, so you might see it looks a little bit light on me, right? So I'm gonna try and make it work because I really love the consistency of this and the way it feels on my skin, it's very weightless. So I'm gonna use this dense brush, it's just a little bit angled 
and just go along the edges to kind of blend that into my skin a little bit more. The forehead is always a little bit harder because there's a lot more surface up there that I need to blend it out to. And because I don't go on my nose, my nose is kind of like standing out right now. So I'm just gonna dust that a little bit over the bridge there. The lighting is like showing it a lot more drastic than how it is in real life. Cause like in real life, it looks like an exact match. But on here, you can tell that my neck and my hands are a little bit darker and you can tell around my eyes how it's darker. But looking at it in real life, and then when I go out into natural lighting, it looks fine. So I'm just gonna set that down already with this powder. This is the Kosas uh, Cloud Set Powder. This is one of my favorite powders. I do bring this powder up underneath my eyes and that's gonna give me just a tiny bit of coverage there so you can't see like my dark circles as much. I usually don't even like putting like brightening concealer underneath my eyes. I just don't like wearing a lot of makeup and that's what makes this cushion foundation like really ideal for me is because it doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup and it's very quick to apply. I know I like have to work with it a little bit to make it match my skin tone, but look at how good it's looking so far. See, I've got, I've also gotten a lot lighter than I usually am. So like once I start tanning again or going out in the sun like a normal person, I probably won't match this anymore. If you're seeing this Korean makeup brands, perhaps make it darker expand your skin tone range okay now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer this is the Fenty Beauty bronzer and I'm literally kind of just gonna put this all over my face I'm almost out of this I've hit pan the nose is the most important part I know some people just um, contour it but I kind of just warm it up so everything is starting to blend more. Let's do the blush. I have this new blush from M Cosmetics. It was their limited edition um, Heaven's Glow blush. It's like the cherub sort of thing. So this color is actually called cherub. The first time they released it, I wasn't able to get it. So then the second time they put it out, I was like, that's mine. Look at how beautiful this blush is. It is um, kind of sheer, but the glow it has is gorgeous. Also, the thing I really like about this foundation is it kind of doesn't have a scent. I don't really like scented products that much unless it's like a lipstick or something. But like when I'm putting something all over my face, I have a, a fragrance sensitivity as well. So when I'm putting something all over my face, I don't want it to smell like cherries or anything, you know? Okay, how is the foundation looking now that I've added more color? Looks a lot better, right? Right? I, I love it. I love this foundation. The only time I've used a traditional foundation was when I was doing stuff on like film sets because I needed all of the coverage. But nowadays I'm only using uh, tinted moisturizers or um, concealer. So this is kind of like the first foundation kind of product that I've been using in a really long time. and. I really like the way it feels on my skin. It feels very nice. I also have been breaking out a lot recently and when I used this foundation, it didn't make it worse. And I also really like the way it's covered because some foundations kind of like separate around a breakout and some of them just kind of like make the texture more apparent. But this does not like it literally covers it. It makes it disappear. Like even in real life, you can kind of see, like if I turn towards the light, you can see like, oh, there's a spot there. Like you can see the rays because of the lighting. But as a canvas, it looks really nice. I'm gonna bring you guys in really close with the mascara. Um, I usually don't curl my eyelashes or, um, apply anything to make them hold a curl. So this is literally just gonna be how the mascara performs on its own. You know, like if I'm getting ready to leave the house, I'm not gonna take the time to curl my, my eyelashes or anything because I need to leave the house. So this is how it performs. I really like the packaging of this. This is beautiful. I mean, I also like it because it's purple. Purple is my jam. So let's I wonder if this is waterproof, because it says powerproof. It has 
some words in English on here, but it's more just the name of the product and made in Korea and the website. On the back, okay, achieve feather light and dramatically lifted lashes, formulated to resist water, sweat, and oil for lifted lashes with lasting curls. Keep your lashes curled without weighing them down. 3-in-1 Fixing Mascara primes, coats, and offers natural-looking eye looks with perfectly curled lashes. Non-clumping, clear formula. Black gel formula does not leave any white residue on the lashes to help maximize the result of ap I'm really bad at removing mascara, so I feel like this is going to be a pain. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys in close. And if my hands shake, don't say anything. Look at how thin the wand is. That's a beautiful wand. It's curved. And like even on the wand, you can't see there's any clumping. Just a little bit at the end, there's a little bit clump there. But let's see how this goes. I don't know if I hold it with the curve up or with the curve down. I don't really see much right now. There we go, we're starting to get something. This kind of does have like a really bad smell. <laughs> like it smells like, you know, like how makeup smells when it doesn't have a fragrance, but like it's not all natural. It kind of just smells. So this is how my eyelashes look. I'm gonna look up, cause that's usually how you can see like the density of it. It's not really curling that much. When I turn to the side, I can see the length of it. I don't know if you, I can get close enough to show you guys that, but this is two coats. I mean, the first coat might have been a little dried out, so I'm gonna keep going to see if I can get my desired thickness and length. It's a little bit spidery, in my opinion, but it does, my lashes are a little bit straight, but it's curling them a little bit. I wonder if they'll stay up though. That's that's where we'll see the true test. Okay, so it's definitely not something I would use for like dramatic looks or anything, but I do... I'll see how hard it is to get off because that'll kind of be the deciding factor for me and when I use it. Because if I'm going to use this like on a daily basis, I don't wear makeup daily, but like if I were, um, I wouldn't use something that's going to be hard to get off. I do like the waterproof aspect and the sweatproof because in the summer I sweat a lot. So I'll see how this wears, but it's not bad. Not my favorite though, but it would be like a more natural makeup look sort of mascara. Okay, let's put glitter on first. So this is the Color Gram Glitter in Milk Shadow in O2. It's just a pink glitter. I'm gonna put that all over. I just feel wanna feel glittery today. Can you see the sparkle? I can, but I can't see the pink. And I wonder if it creases. Should I put some a little bit underneath my eye? Ooh, I love it. Okay, um, I don't know how I'm gonna put eyeliner with this though. I think I'll just line the top of my lashes and I won't make a wing. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liner. Okay, I literally just lined my top lashes. Does that make the mascara pop a little bit more? Actually, yeah, a little bit. It, the mascara does dry quickly, which I like because then it doesn't mess with the rest of my makeup. Not bad, not bad. I love glitter. I've been really obsessed with Korean glitter products right now, like Korean liner, what am I mean? Glitter liner and, you know, like glitter topper. I don't know what the difference is because I usually don't get like glitter products here in America but I like the way it applies a lot. It like makes me more comfortable like I'm not going to get glitter in my irises. Okay. Yeah. Last but not least, we're going to try, we're going to try the Juicy Pang water tint. 
I don't remember what the color looks like because I kind of have pink glitter on but it doesn't look very pink. I have a light pink blush on so I think no matter what color I do it's gonna be okay or like no matter what color this is. So I really like the packaging but I did the other day see like I did this I was able to take out the casing so I don't know if that means this is like you can get refills. I didn't see refills I don't think on the website so I don't know if I just messed it up because I have to hold the rim now to open it so the casing doesn't come out but this is just like a classic doe foot you know I have a lot of uh, Korean lip stains lip tints so I kind of I kind of know what I like and this is supposed to be a water tint so it better be really light the smell is pleasant maybe like strawberries yeah okay I don't have anything on my lips other than setting spray, I guess. That applies really nicely. Like it feels like water. And right now, can't feel it. It's actually kind of already dry. Yeah, it's dry. Oh, but I kind of got a really nice gradation. Just with my little natural lip liner pretty. I want to see if I can like make it more opaque. I tasted it. I tasted it. I don't like it. I don't like the taste of that at all. Don't taste it. Ooh, looks popping on camera. It looks a lot more neutral in person. Ta-da. It's pretty. I don't have anywhere to wipe my hands rub it in I guess let's get a close-up um there is a natural filter on my camera that kind of just makes my face look better always but I'm gonna bring you close I'm gonna lower the lighting so you guys can just see if there's like texture what's going on that's lighting off lighting a little bit letting bright Ooh, I look white. Let's make it warmer. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. I will have the Misha Global site linked down below. That's where I bought it from, is the global site for Misha itself. Um, I really like everything I got. I'm still iffy on the mascara. I mean, the way on the packaging it shows, it is very like sparse. There isn't like a lot of volume or anything because this is a curling mascara and it's a thin mascara. So it does deliver what it says it's going to deliver. But personally, I just don't really like this type of mascara, I guess. I've never tried this type of mascara before, so this is a lesson for me. But yes, I'll have all the products I have down below. I will link the prices, or I will post the prices. And that is the makeup look. I am a Misha fan now. A Misha beauty fan now. I was a Misha skincare fan before, but now I'm a beauty fan. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you would like, and I will see you guys next time. If there's any makeup brands you'd like to see me review, leave a comment of it, and I will take a look. So bye everyone. <laughs>